preliminary inquiry is where you, the magistrate, would take all the evidence and determine whether or not there's a prima facie case to go to the high court. That would be done away with. Normally, preliminary inquiry takes years to complete. If that is removed and you have what is called sufficiency hearing, wherein a determination is made whether or not there is sufficient evidence on the, on, on the statements, that would reduce the backlogs. As was indicated by the Chief Justice, the Honorable Chief Justice, there are countries that have been doing this for over 15 years. So it's time for us to make that paradigm shift and accept the change and ensure that the backlog is eliminated, if not eradicated. What would it take for us to um, implement that shift? Well, we have the Criminal Justice Board and all parties are presently on board and we are there already. So the shift is being implemented. As you can see, the changes that have been, that have been uh, made from January to the present day by the reduction in the backlog of cases. It tells that we have adopted the Needham's Point Declaration. So how long does a sufficiency hearing last? It varies. A sufficiency hearing lasts. Uh, the magistrate would have to determine on the paper whether or not there is a sufficient case to take the matter to the High Court. So it would take much less than years. It may take a week. It may take a couple of days. A sufficiency hearing in one particular matter, if it's examined holistically, can be completed in a day or two.